everybody Ann here good morning I've got my coffee and first of all I have to say welcome all new subscribers that were sent here from Bobblehead Homestead Jeff he is just an amazing guy he's got a really really awesome channel he's one of the very first homesteading channels that I started following back when he was just getting started and he kind of got me just kind of hooked on this life of you know homesteading and tiny house living. His his house is a lot bigger than mine, but um, I watched the whole thing with them delivering it. I especially love his chicken videos. So he gave me a shout out on his channel and sent me a whole bunch of really, really awesome people. So welcome all of you new folks. Um, I love you all. I spent an hour and a half or so last night answering comments from you guys, and it was just... It just made me feel so, so good after having some really bad news, you know, for a few days there. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Jeff, from Bobblehead Homestead for sending me all those wonderful new subscribers. And even if they didn't subscribe, that they left a comment, they watched a video. So it's an honor. It's, a, it's, it's stunning to me, actually, that a channel like that would give me a shout out. So thank you so much. But it looks like things are, you know, looking up. Uh, the van is here. She is fixed. And, uh, well, here, just take a look. The girl is home. And the brakes are working fine. They didn't want to release her right away because there's still a little vibration at certain speeds. Um, but that was present before the brake situation occurred. I think it may just be my tires. They are... Their older tires they're out of round they still got plenty of tread on them but um, they came with the van and I've had the van for over a year now so it could just be the tires I don't think it's an alignment problem um, because it uh, it doesn't pull to one side or the other um, there's a couple other things it could be but it's not the brakes and it just uh, it vibrates at it like between 35 and 40 and then it, it stops um, but the brakes work fine they thought it was the hoses. The team that had my vehicle and were working on it the first day did a terrible job. They didn't do some pertinent tests and a caliper ended, it, ended locking up. And so I don't know if it was the hoses, but they ended up taking everything apart, putting everything back on, replaced the shoes on both sides, and um, then finally the driver's side wheel was able to turn freely. So, um, and that was the problem. The, the wheel wasn't turning, so, um, you know, I don't know what it was, but they fixed it. It does not drag anymore. Um, there's no, I mean, you can tell when your calipers are stuck, and that's what, would, that's what happened. And I can hardly talk because I just woke up. But she's back, and you know what? It is a cloudy day today. It's been raining. I don't know since what time it's been raining. But, hopefully it won't rain any more today. I got my trusty solar panels facing where the sun should be coming up. And that's one good thing about these panels, is they've got their own little stand to them, and you can move them very easily. And the cord is actually quite long, so I've got plenty of cord there. But, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to, maybe if it dries out a little bit, go look and see if I can find some mushrooms. If not, I'm going to do some projects inside the tiny house. So I don't know. And I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first got the van, I um, bought a big, huge, sturdy old desk. And I was going to use that for the bed platform. But the desk altogether was just way too big to fit into that, into the back of the van. It wouldn't have worked. So I pulled the very um, heavy desktop off, and that's what my bed platform is so I'm gonna use that and uh, hopefully a few cinder blocks underneath of it will keep it sturdy enough I think it will because it's a very solid desktop so that's one thing I'd like to do um, I would like to get that file cabinet out of there that's got my pots and pans in it and add it to my kitchen area I may kind of rearrange the kitchen area a little bit but uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see what this day brings it's gonna be a good day though one way or the other it's gonna be a good day the bed is up off the floor. The center block blocks worked great. 
Um, that's the quilt my mom gave me. It's two-sided, so I turned this side up because the other side is kind of grungy looking. I badly, badly need to clean this, uh, this quilt set, but yeah. And there is the emoji face. I really need to clean that up too, but I don't have the heart to get rid of it, so it's going to stay. So this looks like a pretty comfy bed, and it is, and it's going to be warmer because it is up off the ground, so right on. I just need to organize everything else now. Look at this girl. She has been outside all day. It got sunny on us. We got some blue skies, so things are drying out, and it's just a nice day. You happy, girlfriend? You happy? <laughs> she doesn't want to come inside. It's so funny. She was out here just uh, lounging in the sun on my little ghetto uh, lawn. <laughs> but anyhow, all right, I need to get the kitchen in order. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that dog? You can't see her very well, but she's sitting in the driver's seat. I've got the van open. She's on her tether, and she just got in through the side door, and she's just sitting there. She loves that van so long as it's not driving in the city. What a funny girl. So that's the felt, and I just nailed it up at the top here, here, and uh, just put, uh, put some twine onto a nail. And when I want to close it, I just pull this. Well, here, I'll show you. And it uh, just kind of falls down like that. Covers my window, gives me privacy. Here is my kitchen window, hard to see, but I put my Give Much plaque, that's an old uh, rung off of a barrel, up above, and I took the felt and did the same little loopy do thing, and I just roll it up during the day, and that is what it looks like. Right on. And same with the front door, but the Velcro wouldn't stick, so I had to use duct tape. Yes, duct tape for the win! And then I just tie it off to the side when I want to let light in. That's that window. This is my kitchen. There we go. Um, that's just the table that was in the van. And I just raised it a little bit. You've already seen this part. I brought the filing cabinet in. It's unsightly, but it's got a, all my pots and pans in it. Store some water over here. Store a couple more things of water over there. Got the big blue tank over here. It's going to be easier for me to get water out of it because all I do is tip it over. I don't trust this thing right here. I need to clean this off. Um, it, it leaks just a tiny bit, so I leave it up like that and just tip it over when I need to get water out of it. And I put the, oh, I've got my DoorDash hat over here. I need to put it on a hook later. Um, my pantry is over here, and I just made a little island out of these two things. Now this kitchen, this is basically how I want my kitchen. Kind of like this. And I like this because I'm going to get a little chair to go underneath of there and I can sit there and eat. Or I can work on my computer or whatever. Just very, very simple. Just plywood that I had cut to size and two very cheap chest of drawers. Um, food in this side, clothing in this side. So. Um, eventually, um, over on the bed, I'm going to get some some other cabinetry type stuff. And I just moved the solar over here. It all looks kind of just, you know, not so great. But um, this is kind of how I want my kitchen to be. I want it to be kind of like in a, in a U shape, but um, matching cabinets. And hopefully I can get cabinets that will kind of blend with this. I already know my mom got me a shelf unit. And... Um, that's going to go probably right here, and it might even take the place of this. I'll just have to move the water tank somewhere else. Um, I may be able to put it here or just over here. I don't know, but that's my kitchen, so I need to go find that little chair. There was a little chair somewhere, and I'm going to see if I can find it so I can put it underneath here, and this can be my my dining table slash work table. There's a little chair I was talking about. Uh, it was left here by the neighbors. The seat is all tore up and, you know, the rest of it just looks kind of yucky. So I got a black silk pillowcase that I used to use for my windows in the very, very beginning and just tied it up a little bit with some twine and it fits underneath of there perfectly and I can sit there and do whatever. 
So I think that's kind of cute. But uh, these countertops, I mean, if you look, they come up to just, like, just below my hip. They aren't high enough. This one's a little bit higher. See there? It's like right there. So when I actually get the, the cabinets that I'm going to do something with, I want them to be a little bit higher so I don't have to bend over to cook and stuff. But this is still better because I can stand up to cook. So that is the kitchen. And uh, I'm digging it. Right on. It looks like from this side. I like it. It's cute. It's perfect. It fits underneath there perfectly. This is the potty area. Yep, it is covered with black silk pillowcases. Um, you know, I don't really like them, but it covers it up. It makes it not be an eyesore. I put a little pad on top. And when I moved into the van, I could only pick certain things to take with me. And so I chose things that were important to me. And my mom got this for me years ago. It's like just a little carrying thing. And yeah, I've got the toilet paper and stuff like that covered up with another black silk pillowcase. It works perfect. And uh, yeah, so that's my potty area. Eventually, I want to get it enclosed. This whole area by my bed, too. All righty. I think that's enough work for one day. I think I'm just going to chill out for a little bit. Maybe have some lunch in a little bit. Go find Betty. Oh, she's still in the front seat of the van. And then explore and see if I can find some mushrooms. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.